Guys, it's Mr. Vince, and today we just hit level 10, and that's right. So I made a live stream today, by the time I'm recording this, of me reaching level 10, and I think that was incredible. So before we continue on, if you guys are new, you can hit the subscribe button, and be sure to be like as well, because it will help me a lot. And don't forget to hit the bell icon if you never want to miss a video. As, as always, let's go ahead and get started. So I hit level 10, and it only took about two weeks to hit level 10, so that was actually pretty good. So I started doing my contracts on a Saturday morning after the update released, a couple hours later. So so it probably took about 13 days specifically to hit level 10, although it actually took about two weeks. So it's been a pretty long time since I've been doing my contracts and it's about equivalent to seasons three and four. So pretty good, but I don't think it's the best I've ever done in my opinion, because I thought the season was going to be really challenging, but that was true for the first few levels, but eventually it got easier, and I thought it would have been pretty bad, but it turns out that the contracts were pretty easy, and I didn't have a lot of issues with doing the contracts. So you guys have been waiting for it, we are going to be driving the banana car. So the banana car is a 100,000 vehicle, and as well in my live stream, I've also bought it before redeeming it, which is a big F in a chat from the money, but I am covering it back so don't worry now anyway so here's the banana car as you can see and it actually does look pretty good not gonna lie as you can see there's trails coming out of the vehicle and since particle emitters do lag out your game it's recommended that you use graphics one to prevent lag from the particle emitters other than that this is a nice vehicle so the bananas that are coming out of the back wheels actually change color such as green yellow orange and red which i think is pretty interesting not gonna lie so as you can see, this banana car actually looks pretty good. So if we look pretty closely, the wheels, the design itself is pretty good. Now if you go over here, we actually do have a couple of stuff. As you can see, we have got brakes, suspension height, wheel color, tire, rim, glow, engine, body color, texture, interior detail, interior main, window tint, window color, headlights color, license plate, spoiler color, and spoiler. And as well, you can also equip sirens if you're a police officer, just like the Rattler, the Volt 4x4, and the Beam Hybrid. Now anyways, let's go ahead and give this a try, shall we? So the banana trophy is displayed on the front of the vehicle, which probably explains why the sirens are at the back of the vehicle. And as well, we got this really cool looking banana thingy-majiggy that cannot be customized. Seats up to three people, you can drive in first person, but the banana is blocking the way so if we drive it's pretty fast and i'm gonna say this is a pretty good vehicle but i do have a couple of complaints the major complaint with this vehicle is the bounciness even if you're not lagging there's a chance that the vehicle will bounce which is a problem now i do not actually know why this is the case but other than that it's pretty good i would say the price to performance ratio is pretty good but compared to the beam hybrid it's not that good in my opinion as the stats are pretty sufficient compared to a lot of the other season vehicles as it's pretty similar first speed is the same as usual the top speed is the same launch is pretty similar to the rattlers we also have acceleration that is pretty good but better than the rattlers at least and maybe slower than the beam hybrids and overall it's a pretty good vehicle and i would say it's recommended that you get this if you have three people with you so in conclusion the banana car is a pretty good vehicle for those who really like bananas and for the rest of the video i will go ahead and play some of the gameplay with this car have a great day guys my name is mr vince and i'll see you guys in the next video